without borders. Jambo, which means hello. Which means we are in Dar es Salaam. Welcome to our tour of Dar.
like outside, is that their taxi? No. Outside looks like this, and inside our place is like right next door, and it's like really beautiful and luxurious, so it kind of is like super contradicting, which doesn't make sense at all. We are on our way right now to the shopping mall, because we still haven't ate breakfast. We woke up this morning, and there was water, so we had water to drink, but we didn't really have food, and... There's no real grocery store, yeah. There's yeah, there's no real grocery store, so we're going to go find the shopping mall and then we're going to get a nice coffee, at least I am, some food, and then we're going to go check out the market. Okay, so even um, though we did Uber and we did fully track everything, we went on a big detour to get to where we were going, so, and then the guy asked for a five-star rating, so, I don't know, I guess it is what it is. Part of tipping the culture of where you are. He is their movie theater where you can watch movies. This is their food part. because we have a really good packing list when we travel um, and one thing I usually always bring is a Ziploc bag of powdered washing detergent but um, on this trip I didn't Sorry. because I forgot it. Uh, so when you leave they stamp your thing and what I was saying earlier about the laundry detergent is I'm going to share my packing list kind of in detail what I usually pack to go on a trip so that you guys know because there's certain things like as simple as carrying a face cloth because not everywhere you go has face cloths and little Ziploc bag of laundry detergent. What was interesting in here is that they had all these laundry detergents that were really small packages that were all hand washing. Um, a lot of people do their washing by hand. So so we got like a couple bags of stuff, like little things like toilet paper wipes. Uh, we even found cereal, milk in a little bag, a little thing of milk, a tiny thing of coffee, and then something even to put around your toilet seat, which is really important in countries like this. Um, so everything together was 25 bucks, so there you go. So far, we have seen zero tourists like this. 
here today anyway. We found, unlike Zanzibar, where there's tourists everywhere, there's no tourists here. There's no Show me the shoes. These are your shoes that you just bought on the market the other day. too far in a distance today because it's kind of kind of smoggy and overcast but there you go there's what it looks like so this is downtown Dar es Salaam currently there's about six million people who live in Dar es Salaam and about the year 2100 they're projecting it to be about 70 some million people which is gonna be a huge massive growth I can't imagine it being that big because it already feels huge Right behind me here is a church that was built in 1899 by some missionary 
uh, Germans that came, and it's one of the oldest churches for um, like Christian churches in Tanzania. Lutheran churches. Put them in a frame because of people traveling around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you move from one place to the other. Yeah. You know, they, use, they use this for storing water, but it's made of water. Yeah, apart from that, I have a Maasai dance. Uh -huh. okay. Maasai people. They only try without drums. Beautiful. Oh, you see star. Maybe you see one or two. These ones, you just roll. memory of the Twin Towers in New York. So we're now at the shopping mall. This is their like new, a newer one. This is the one. newer shopping mall. We just took a taxi, like an Uber, but I think it would have been faster to walk because there's so much traffic at this time of night. So. There's Pizza Hut right behind us, which is really funny to see Pizza Hut here in, in Durham. So here in Durham you don't really see any like fast food like McDonald's or Burger King or Starbucks. You don't really find that here.
I'll, I'll say one thing that's encouraging for people who are watching this is that I was an Africa virgin before I came to this continent. I had never been to any African country and then in about five years it took me, without leaving the continent, 54 African countries continuously overland except for some island nations I had to fly to but basically got a car and, and just you drove. did it yeah all with the vehicle you have right now yeah and I noticed you have like a, a thing that goes up like a exhaust that goes up is that so oh that yeah that's that's for going underwater or uh, it's, it's called a snorkel actually did you have to use it um yeah not so much yes <laughs> okay. I did and also it's just healthy for the car when you're going to the to the sandy deserts uh, when there's a lot of sand yeah. Instead of grabbing the air down low, like most cars do, it grabs the air higher so you get a better quality air that goes into your engine. Oh, okay. So, it's, so even though you may not go into water, it's good for sand. Okay. Cool. And then what about, so explain how you like did all your sleeping and you did everything from like tenting to hotels to Airbnbs to like yeah. everything, right? I think about 30% of the time I was doing couch surfing. Really? Yeah. And then maybe about 30% of the time I was doing... Um, Hotel, sorry, not hotel. 30% uh, of the time I was camping, okay. doing a lot of camping. And uh, and then the rest of the time, maybe occasional hotels, stuff like that. But I would never, I'm kind of like you, very spontaneous. I didn't, wasn't booking too many hotels in advance. So you kind of go as you go. Yeah. This is the kind of guy that inspires Tyler, which can be very dangerous because then <laughs> you just don't know where we end up after. <laughs> And so, Rejoice met, when did you guys meet? It was in 2015. 15. January. And since she's been living the mobile lifestyle now, and, uh, and yeah, then the she's next... She's become the most well-traveled Cameroon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no kidding. And their next destination will be Europe. So for all of you guys that are going to be in Europe, we'll all be meeting up, I'm sure, at some point. Yes. This summer, right? Or when? Yes. Next year? This summer? Uh, this summer, inshallah, as they say. Okay. So that's the plan. So any of you who want to meet up with us, just let us know. And comment below. Let yeah, us know where below, you're watching from. not above. Don't comment <laughs> above. <laughs>